<clears throat> Hi everyone, it's Lori, and I am here to do your uplifting reading all about you. And yes, this is meant to be a positive reading. Everything is going to be um, honoring you, focusing on your skills, your talents, something magical about yourself. Okay, so this is meant to lift you up and recognize you. All right, I hope you guys are all happy, healthy, and having some fun. We are going to go ahead and get right into your reading. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you for being here. If you are new here, um, I hope you find something that resonates and that you will decide to come back in the future. If you are a returning viewer, you know I love you guys to pieces. All right, let's go ahead and see what's truly magical about you. We have the poet, the king of swords. You're intellectual, definitely a very smart person, very worldly, I'm hearing. Um, Open-minded, love that energy, willing to learn. You have learned a lot. You may have multiple degrees. Um, you just love learning for the sake of learning. So you definitely, I'm seeing somebody here has multiple degrees. And when I say multiple, five, six, seven, and a, a, on top of that, you may have different certifications. Um, you are very expansive in your knowledge, okay? This can be in any field or multiple fields or one specific, okay? It does not matter. You are prolific and you are very, very talented at um, sharing what you know with people in such a manner that they just get it, okay? They just, people just get it. As soon as you put it out there, woo, it's understood. People follow you. So some of you are definitely um, influencers at the very least, okay? So you're on YouTube or out there in the world somewhere, uh, like a Tony Robbins or, you know, just big, huge um Influencing the world, how the world views the world, how people, how people in the world view the world, okay? Others of you, you keep it more on the down low. You don't want to be out there um, center stage. You prefer to be behind the scenes. The information that you share is crucial to people, okay? So you may be the type of person who studies medicine and what you share is absorbed quickly by people because you have become very trusted, Okay, so this is this runs the whole gamut on um, how you disseminate the information that you have. Okay, beautiful magical quality here because you are affecting and making changes within the world. They may be subtle one at a time if you're behind the scenes, or it may be broad and sweeping if you happen to be out in front of the public's eye. TED Talks. Um, YouTube channel, you know, where you're trying to change people's minds, let them know things. Yeah. So it's going to be different for each of you, but that's a truly magical quality to learn, to be willing to learn, and then to share what you've learned to help to improve the world. That is a beautiful, magical quality. What is something that you personally have accomplished in the past that you should be proud of? Oh, look at this. The temperance card. You learned at some point that everything in life is about neutrality, balance. If things get a little too kilter this far, you know, on this side of the scale, something's going to bring it back. Okay. It's kind of like a pendulum. The energy that's put in to make it swing this way is going to be expended to bring it back to this uh, side. And even if that energy is forceful, and it gets bigger and bigger, it can also be the opposite and slow things down. So back to neutral. You've learned how to control your emotions. You've learned how to be fair with people, um, with yourself too, okay? Healing, being gentle on yourself, understanding that you're having a human, you're a divine spirit having a human experience, okay? Okay. And you do manifest. I, I am getting that. Um, definitely abundance, happiness, transformations. Okay. Definitely transformations for you. You have gone through many, many transformations. 
And that, that again, leads to having an open mind, being willing to see um, that we don't know what we don't know until we know it, okay? And you are one of those people. So you're always seeking. What is it we don't know? What, what more can I, you know, learn about this? How can I improve myself? What is it I'm missing within myself that keeps me from expanding? Oh, I love this energy. I love this. So in the past, it looks like you have accomplished the ability to stay balanced, to understand that there is this thing called neutrality, where when the scales go too far one way, they're just going to come back the other way, okay? Keeping an even keel, um, nice, there's no reason to blow up about anything I'm hearing. You're very calm, very peaceful, very healing energy. What impact do you have on the people around you? If this is not a purple card, I'm going to be very surprised. Oh, it's not. But <laughs> what is it? This is the Ace of Wands. This is the passionate new beginning, but all-inclusive, open-mindedness, okay? Being willing to see that at, there's a pattern to our universe, to everything, okay? And, and wow, if you were to look at a sunflower, really, really, really close. You might actually be able to see the spiral that happens here, okay? And you do. You personally do. You are all-inclusive. You're passionate about what you do, sharing the knowledge that you have gained. And you've gained it from many places, not just one, which means you trust others um, to give you the information, okay? You've got more here in your back pocket that you haven't divulged yet. So you may hold back a few things from people and only dole things out as they can handle it. We don't know what we don't know until we know it, okay? And sometimes it can be overwhelming to learn too much too quickly, okay? That's why we don't have all the information of the whole universe and how it works and everything else because we would just be overwhelmed, okay? So we have to... In Incorporate it a little bit at a time in our life. And we all do this at different paces. But you're wise. You are very wise in knowing that. Okay? So you disseminate your information at just the right pace for whatever audience you are um, catering to. Okay? So the effect you have on <clears throat> the people around you is the fact that you are inspiring, okay? You can light a fire within somebody, spark something beautiful. You can open people's minds, help them to awaken to who they are, what the universe is really like, okay? What they can accomplish. This is beautiful. This is absolutely a wonderful impact to have on the people around you. And it is a healing there is a lot of healing from this, okay? I don't know why I got the purple energy, but I definitely felt it and I still feel it. And Okay, so what is a talent or skill that you have um, that we should recognize? Oh, I'll look at this. Yeah, you rise above the situation, okay? You let it go. You have transformed. You transform every time you learn something. And what I'm hearing is it's an expansion, Okay, so you started off teeny tiny here. Here's one change. Here's all the changes that you have been through. See all these? Okay, these are like ripples. These are your expansion. Every time you encounter new information, it's like being born again. Okay, you 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 still have what you had before, but you're incorporating more and more. That's a beautiful talent and skill to have, to recognize that, um, you don't have to let your past go completely because it's a part of who you are. You understand that you take the lessons from your past and expand on that knowledge, okay? And you put it to good use. Beautiful. All right, what is something that you do right now that you should never, ever stop doing? Yeah, being the healer. Okay, the page of cups. This is the person who thinks outside the box, but this is the person who's got that creative, intuitive, your, your in imagination, which your imagination is your 
intuition, okay? It is your muse. It's your healing energy. It is your direct link to your higher power. And whenever you connect with your higher power, there has to be healing because you're bringing yourself together. You're bringing yourself into whole, into alignment. You're bringing yourself more and more information and incorporating it into one being. Beautiful energy here. Never stop thinking outside the box. That's the biggest thing here. Okay. And with that comes the healing, comes the letting go of things. Um, <laughs> I'm hearing, yes, you know, I keep getting burned, but I've got a nice aloe that I can keep putting on this. All right. I've got my people that I can trust. You have your people that you can trust. You have your hive. All right. I will say most people of this level are loners. Okay. If you have a hive, it's a maximum of five. All right. And these people think exactly the way you do. They feel the way you do. They see the universe the way that you do. Beautiful supportive energy here. And you do. You support them equally as they support you. They love you. Beautiful, beautiful energy here. Let's see how we're going to end this. The Eight of Mirrors again. The Eight of Cups. This is in the exact same position as, as yesterday's reading. Okay. And this is about realizing that we are going to travel and journey through this life. We're going to have ups. We're going to have downs. But if we keep our focus on the future on where we are in the moment, but what we want from the future, then the things that have happened in the past, they reflect back to us, okay? So if we're looking in the past, we're going to have a reflection. What do we want to take from the past is what I'm hearing here. Take the lessons, expand your mind, expand your experience, expand your understanding of how things work, and keep your eye on the future. Beautiful, beautiful message here. Absolutely love this. All right. Don't forget to, if it's resonating with you, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would also invite you to give it a thumbs up if you would like to honor the person that this is that we are talking about here. So if it's not you, go ahead and give the video message a thumbs up so that you can say, I hear you, I see you, I recognize you, I and you're a beautiful soul. Okay. If it's your message, go ahead and drop me or drop us a comment. Uh, let us know, you know, what do you do? How, how many degrees do you have? I would love to know. Okay. How do you heal? How do you think outside the box? How do you incorporate, incorporate other people, other thoughts, other ideas, and still maintain balance, equality, um, healing, yeah, so go ahead and drop me a comment. Let me know those things. And while I'm at it, if you are not subscribed to the channel, um, I would invite you to do so at this time. We have an awesome community. I do this type of reading every single day. Now, my channel is focused towards Libras. However, I do know that I have a lot of um, cross watchers, channel fans. People have... Um, Libra in different aspects of their chart, okay? So they may be a Libra in their 12th house, okay? But these readings still fit. They still resonate. So if you happen to be a channel fan or a cross watcher or somebody with Libra anywhere in your chart, you're always welcome here. And if it resonates, if this sounds like you, um, then it is you. Take it. Run with it, okay? Make it make it your own. And in, um, as I was saying, join our channel, subscribe to our channel. We have an awesome community here. Okay. So if you're thinking about that, go ahead and do that. Also check out the description box. There's a lot of beautiful information in there for you. All right, let's go ahead and get you show, almost showed, showed you the wrong thing for those new here, the spirit animal Oracle message. I give you four of these. Usually we'll see what we come up with today. Um, we're just going to take off the top. 60 swan spirit it's time for a deep dive that means we need to look deep within ourselves and we have a rebirth again okay um so this is bat spirit card number five uh, a rebirth is assured and 60 plus five would be 65 which would become 11 which means you're in alignment so this deep dive is saying that yes you have looked 
you've um <laughs> the mandala in the background is again reminding me of the um ripple effect okay of the whole connectedness of the universe this is beautiful all right and we have wolf spirit for the third day in a row turn your knowledge into wisdom and that's what you do you learn and learn and learn and then you put it out there for others to gain benefit from 58 stag spirit take the lead love this and and you do you you have the uh ram energy here that's aries energy that's about being the pioneer the first one out of the box the leader okay the one who's going to try it for you i am being set um asked to show you what's on the bottom of the deck 37 lion spirit be generous of spirit and you do this is you this is your energy here all right Let's see what 58 says, because that's, I'm hearing spirits say that that's the most important message. And it's not, let's see. Okay, whether or not you have set your intention to lead, you may have found yourself suddenly called to step up to the forefront of your life. Stag spirit is a reminder that now is a time to heed the call to be sure, strong, and compassionate, that lion energy. Others will look to you, and you have it within you to see through the eyes of stag spirit and walk with confidence as you take on the responsibility, responsibilities that are yours now and model integrity in all that you do and in all of your relationships. Absolutely. People follow you, okay? Be willing to see the best in others so that your compassionate heart keeps you on the right path. Stag Spirit wants you to know that your responsibilities now are to yourself, too, for you are learning and developing some new skills. The best in you is coming into view as you step forward with strength, knowing that Spirit supports you as you compassionately take the lead. You are a model for transformation now sharing your experience, strength, and hope with others so that they may grow and discover their best selves too. What a gift you are to the world. Stay humble and authentic and walk your talk, for this is how a wise leader leads. This fits you to a T. All right, so let me get you... Spirit would like you to have another animal spirit oracle message here. That is a beautiful message. Beautiful message. So we have the phoenix and the bat spirit here about rebirths, letting things go. All right, we have polar beer, the mystic. <clears throat> Understand that challenges make you stronger. Have faith when you face adversity. Take some time to rest, dream, and renew your strength. Embrace your psychic abilities, your intuition, your creative processes, your imagination, because you carry the shaman within, okay? So you're the mystic. You have all of these abilities, and you do. You, you're manifesting reality. You're helping others to manifest beautiful futures for themselves. Oh, look at this. The butterfly rebirth. Third time that we have rebirth. You know that you can reinvent yourself. Open yourself to the rewards that change brings. You have brilliance and information and insight and wisdom to share with the world. Love every single part of your journey. You do. Here's the purple energy again, okay? Um, healing, understanding that you do. You enjoy the process. You and enjoy the journey okay that's why you love to learn on the bottom of the deck is the raccoon the inventor decide what you really want okay you have the ingenuity to claim it avoid being the trickster and practice integrity again um authenticity here and you have it 
You also have many roles and you can juggle them all very well. So you're very good at learning. You're very good at helping people. You definitely have met multiple roles here. All right, my lovely, lovely Libras, Cross Watchers, Channel fans, whoever you are, you are always welcome here. I love you to pieces. Until our energy crosses again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.